is Serena, YouTube channel Rena Rocks. Today I'm coming to you with a video about printers and this is an Epson Workforce 3640 and this printer I have never set up with the computer. I just copy uh, from it and so what I'm going to do today is try to show you how I uh, update a driver for this printer and to show you how it works and show you the settings on the advanced preferences so i just come to you today to show you a little bit about the inner workings of the epson with the computer laptop whatever so stay with me and hope this is helpful okay so here we are with my laptop open and ready as you see i don't have a whole lot on here but i'm going to insert uh two shots one where i plug the usb cord into the printer the workforce 3640 and also into the laptop so that's in now what I want to do now I don't know if you can see this but it says workforce 2650 I already have that installed because I do a lot of printing on that one but I have this larger one so I'm gonna see if I can find a, I want it to recognize there so you go down in that little search box and I'm gonna type in printer and see what happens add printer or scanner so just to make sure now look here, printers and scanners, it says right now that's unavailable. Open, manage, so I'm going to print a test page just to see what happens. Can you hear that? Let's see if I can go. I'm getting the flashing light. So I got my desk printed, the ink is looking good, and all the information. Okay. So now, it said before on the other screen, driver unavailable. Let's see if I can find one on the internet. Before I download a driver on the internet, I'm going to see what's, what, what's available to me without downloading a driver that it can get straight from the printer. And so, let's see, we printed the test page, we have that here, and let's go to printer preferences, printer properties, now here it says paper quality, it just says plain paper, photo paper, matte, that's basically what I use, layout portrait, <laughs> print on both sides, flip on long edge, short advanced, and you can do the sizes. So that's what we have here as far as advanced property. I'm going to exit out of these. And I'm going to go here. Let's see. Epson Printer Driver. Epson Official Support. Port scanners. Let's do search. Inner product name. Let's do workforce. Search products are let's see right here. Oh, an important firmware update is now available for this product. Please be sure to install it as soon as possible to ensure optimal product performance. So you, I do not have it on my computer. I don't really have anything. Drivers, utilities, combo, installer. So let's see. Now this is the thing. If you have any problems, like you felt like it worked better without downloading all this stuff and a lot of times this stuff can like just load down your laptop or computer especially if you don't have a lot of space on it and it works fine without it 
then just work fine with what you have. As, as you saw from the preferences, you can choose the paper, plain, matte, or gloss. That may be all you use. Landscape, portrait. That's all you may want to do is just, so you may not need all this, but I'm just showing you what you can do. So let me open this file first. Do you want to allow us to make changes? I'm just going to hit yes. And therein, I know I can uninstall it if I needed to. Next. This is the version I want. Under model name, select the printer you want to update. Workforce. This is it that has the following firmware. Hey, it's already been updated. Printer has the following firmware. The firmware has already been updated. Okay, so no. Should you want to exit? Yes. So my computer already has the latest firmware on it. So let's do this. So firmware was okay, even though it said I needed it. Okay. I'm not going to argue. As you see, sometimes I don't have all the answers. I just have to play it by ear. Every printer is a little different. And so I figure it out as I go. And it kept telling me I had the firmware. And it kept sending me back, so hey, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, click next to begin printer setup, then follow the steps. Step-by-step -step instructions to set up your Epson product. Select your connection. Now we do have internet, but I like the direct USB. It's just me. Wait for attention, wait for the printer to finish charging the ink before continuing. When it's done, click next to continue. Now right now my printer, I don't hear nothing. I'm going to give it a second. Connect your printer. Printer detected. Please wait. I already connected it. So you could do this, put this on your computer first and then hook up your hook up, hook up your printer to the laptop or PC or whatever. You can print a test page to verify that you can print from your computer. Make sure your printer is turned on and connected to your computer or internet. The ink cartridges are installed, paper is loaded. Then click print test page. So I'm just gonna, I've got paper and I'm just gonna print another print test page. You have not installed genuine Epson ink cartridges. As you see, I used, I, I think I made a video about this before. I use uh, refurbished ink from eBay and I don't have a problem. Some of it, sometimes it's new, sometimes it's refurbished, but it's really good quality ink. This says otherwise, not genuine ink cannot be guaranteed and may cause. I haven't had a problem with it, so do what's best for you and your computer. In your, your printer. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next. Here is the test page. Look at those colors pop. And this is with eBay ink. Would you like to set up your fax number and header now? No. New firmware is available for your product. Do you want to update? 
I tried. Let's see if it'll do it. Let's see, turn the printer off and on again, making sure no jobs in the printer queue. Click start to begin updating. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna hit the button and turn it off. Okay, so I hit this button and I turned it off. Let me turn it back on. I just did as it said. Click start to begin updating. It said, updating the firmware, do not turn the power off. When the update is complete, the power will turn, turn off and on automatically. So I just want to show people step by step who may not be as printer savvy, not that I'm all that savvy, just how to maybe put the driver on their computer. Maybe they don't have the disc. Maybe they bought it used or bought it from somewhere else. How you can go on your printer. You can go in your computer and see what's there, what you can do. And now you can get more, more support or more options when you download drivers and utilities. Okay, it says the firmware update is complete. May it finish. Okay, so it's back to the home screen. We are done. Your software installation and printer setup are complete. Finish. I'm gonna close out of this. Or here, how about this? Let me see. Epson. There we go. Printer settings. Okay, now. Okay, look at this. So here you have, like, you see this whole page printer options, maintenance. Is so much more available I want to say I hope this video helps you install a driver for your Epson printer thank you have a nice day and always shine bright happy printing mm -hmm.